All right, what is going on, guys? It's me, Upside, and we are playing Life is Strange. Now, for those who don't know what this game is, um, you may have seen the trailers, you may have not, but I just want you to know that this is not one of those cheery games where girls go through their little college problems and, you know, just, oh, what am I going to wear today? No, it's nothing like that. It's This is an incredibly sad game. Like, I'm going to just tell you right up front, this game is going to get in many feelings. I don't know if that's the correct term everybody uses, you, you high school kids today. Getting all your feelings. And that's what this game is going to do. If you think that I'm wrong, or if you think that, oh, I'm man enough to take this, then okay, sure, you're going to see. Because this game is a roller coaster. So we're going to go ahead and play this, start a new game. And we'll see how many of you cry. <laughs> Life is Strange is a story based on games that features player choice. The consequences of all your actions and decisions will impact them. Ah, oh, I couldn't read it. See, that sucks. They should have let me press, like, continue or something. I hope so too. Why the heck are you waking up in the middle of a storm? I love the art style of this game. This this game is very unique. They try to keep the art style very minimalistic because they don't want the download size to be too big. And you know, I can respect it. It look it's kind of like Minecraft. You know, you it, it's very minimalistic because of that blocky looking feeling, but at the same time it works. And that's how this game is. You, you'll see a lot of it as I go through. So we're looking at a big um, tornado. We don't usually get those in Detroit. Well, we do have tornado warnings, but we don't get like E5s or something massive like that. Where the hell am I supposed to go? For the record, I haven't played this game in a while. So... Forgive me, I don't remember where everything is. Holy shit. Hey, language. Watch your damn language, lady. Damn, that's a big ass tornado. Whoa. That was so surreal. Mostly called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, Damn. can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep Ooh. that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. She could have taken another approach. 
I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer oh. Robert Frank. Let's take ourselves Me a too, selfie. Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. Instagram. Shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. <laughs> and Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, okay. since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <laughs> okay, um... I don't know. You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh, she's a bitch. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. She's on my shit list. Making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? She is on my shit list. Just the main fact that she's just like trying to upstage me, and I'm not even doing anything. Why is she upstaging me if she knows she's smarter than me? It makes no fucking sense. Okay, excuse me. Had to get that out. Kind of brings me back to my old days in school. Oh, message from dad. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. That's kind of weird. Me reading that in her perspective. <laughs> Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Oh, she's texting people from the, uh, the, the girl who got her face like bashed in by that piece of paper. Like she nailed her in the eye. Like how... Jeez, how savage is that? Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's 18, been 18 whole years since you brought us to, to us. Warren, jeez, uh-huh. Texting him a lot, huh? Okay, uh, I see. American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about it. I can't him. believe I still have his pencil case. Even I should upgrade to the 21st century. Sweet. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Jeez, there's a bunch of assholes in this school. Okay, I need to talk to Kate because she got Victoria, nailed. Victoria, second kissing ass. Are you okay, Kate? Because Jesus. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem pretty quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Man, look at her eyes. She's just wow. She's just out of it. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Man, I feel bad for her already, and this is like the beginning of the game. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Oh. Dear Kate, we love your porn video, XOXO Blackwell Academy. I mean, they just like spoke for the whole academy and not just the person who wrote it that is man that's just rough looks like somebody was already working on this cool is that supposed to be photoshop it looks more like uh like gimp i haven't used gimp that much but it kind of reminds me of like the older versions i used to use let's go through victoria's shit i should have known she'll have better equipment than blackwell jeez Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? 
and people laughed. Edge marks. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Okay. I don't know what you see, but I'm not a I'm not a uh, master photographer. I'm not good at composition. But I'm sure she sees something. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson, that's rare. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Uh-huh. Oh, it's the you lighthouse. You never escape the lighthouse here. Yeah, you tell that to me earlier. The lighthouse is literally about to fall on top of you. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You ever just like walked up to somebody and just like scan them down and up and you give like the most uh, bitch looking face just like Ugh. whatever bitch. Hello, Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. Damn, no, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, I don't know if that was my intention. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay, I just wanted to tell you that I didn't have my picture, but okay, fine. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just you right. always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I picture. I'm not paying $150 because for Because Max girl. wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point she plays it so <laughs> shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Damn, just shade everywhere. No love. People are just talking about people just left and right. Like it kind of, it kind of reminds me of my old high school days. But I didn't go to a, a traditional high school. I was at a very small high school where it it basically it was a car garage turned into a high school, and that's that's literally what it was. It was right behind another high school. So we only had like maybe one fourth of this hallway, and that was our school. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must... I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Excuse you? Shit. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Vogan. Why does all the douchebags always have to wear, like, varsity jackets? I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I never understood that. It's like varsity jackets and douchery are synonymous with each other. They should just call it a sugar machine. American that would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. No one can tell where you are. Cop block. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. With Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. I wish I had. Okay. Can we go here? Nope. Can't go here. Look at all the trophies. Football trophies. I wonder if that douchebag won that, that football trophy. Okay. Um, that's the principal's office. We never want to go there. Welcome to the new era. I can't tell if that's the style or if that's like he just woke up and found out that the washing machine just destroyed his pants. I cry 
But I guess that is the new style nowadays. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. <sighs> that was a nice little song. Nice little uh, folk music. This game has awesome folk music, by the way. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Obviously a bitch. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Well, that sucks. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Yeah, why is there a random butterfly in there? Like, I wonder how old that camera is. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Well, damn. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around oh, with. Oh, shit. That. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh, shit just got real. Like, why is he just randomly carrying a gun? If he feels so protected... And he Whoa. still needs a gun. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, <gasps> Shit! Can you give oh. me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, Damn. if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Like, no one cares. Because They're just like, oh, she broke spaces. her camera. You feel like totally haunted by the... It's just like, oh, she broke her camera. That's I should rewind. Okay, let's keep going with class. Whee! If I can do that every time I broke I my iPhone, it. I would be one hundred dollars richer. For who perfectly captured the human time machine? Anybody? Bueller. Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because I got to take another together, selfie. Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... 
tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, uh, I need to go to the bathroom. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again? Oh, screw this right bitch. That is so awesome. Like, at that moment, I wish I could just, like, throw the camera at her. Okay, let's speed it up a bit. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, I got the answers now, motherfucker. The Daguerrean process. <laughs> the Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named... Louis Daguerre, around 1830. Booyah! Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean <laughs> process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. This would be annoying if you had to deal with, like... You know, that annoying parent, and you could go back in time, and she keeps telling you, don't you ignore me, I know you didn't clean your room yet, goodbye, and you just rewind it again, like, don't you ignore me, I know you didn't clean that room. It's just like, oh, you just, you, it just, like, amplifies. And to me. It, it, like, amplifies you to want to choke them twice. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Oh, son of a bitch. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. <sighs> I'm not avoiding it, okay? Excuse me, I had to yawn. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Ah, finally, jeez. This reminded me way too, oh, I gotta rewind again? Did I mess up on something? Help me, this is not, it's not what I wanted. I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. Ooh. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Ah, uh, okay, now I'm gonna steal his quotes. Let's see if this works. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Take that bitch. Booyah, second time. Woo! Fire. I wish I had a basketball hoop in here. I'll shoot this motherfucker. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. <laughs> They'll think I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, to the bathroom. You know I don't tease. I hate that Okay. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! 
You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that ever. thing down. Oh, Tell me shit. What to do. Uh, I'm sorry, it's okay. happening. I need a hammer to break it open. Shit, 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 shit. more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even get the, get the hammer. Get the hammer. Get that gun away from me, psycho. Ah, oh, oh, son of a shit. bitch. I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time no, no, again, no, no, I can no. help her. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's see if we can move a little faster. Nobody would ever even Oof, miss your it. punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Ah, damn it. Okay, let's rewind further back. Don't ever okay. tell me what to do. I'm so sick of Oh, I got the hammer. Okay, me. okay. You are going to get Hit the hammer. more trouble for this than drugs. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. 